Hello everybody, I am Priya Manohar. I have been working in the field of education for 20 years. I have been very fortunate to have been able to travel the world and visit schools across different countries. It was a dream come true for me when I visited the United Kingdom in October last year. A group of academicians and myself visited schools in and around Oxfordshire. The beauty of the system in the UK was that 93% of the schools are state funded. There are of course the few grammar schools to which admission procedures are quite stringent. There are also religious schools where part of the funding comes from the church. Only 7% of the schools are privately owned and they are all quite expensive. It was a truly learning experience because of the sharp contrast in a few things that we noticed which are completely different from the Indian schools. One of them being the cosmopolitan nature of the student community. In fact, in one of the schools that we visited, there were about 40 children from different nationalities under one roof. What an exciting and challenging thing that would be for the teachers and the facilitators who were helping these children in their learning process. Not only that, what was striking was the security measures at every school. It was not as if you could just walk in to any school. We were welcomed in a very dignified manner but kept in the waiting area till the head teacher approached us and then she would lead us in. We could not just walk into any classroom. Discipline was extremely important, not just for students, but also all of the staff who were functioning on those premises. The next thing that we noticed was the respect that the teachers gave their students. Students' opinions also mattered immensely. A love of learning was created through mediated freedom. Yes, there was freedom, but yes, the rules were in place and everybody was expected to follow them in a proper manner. In every classroom, the environment was a very wel welcoming one. The walls spoke and called out to you with information and beautiful pictures. Every space, every wall in the classroom was a functional one. It was utility oriented. So the speaking walls would welcome you and embrace you to the learning that was to happen. There was a lovely fusion of group study along with individual expression. There was discussion and everybody came to a conclusion, but everyone's individual opinions mattered too. What was also interesting was not just the intellectual development that was happening, but nutritional needs of every child was looked into as well. There were clean, neat, well-maintained cafeterias in the schools. Inclusive education was not an exception, it was the norm. Every school embraced inclusive education. The ultimate goal was to make learners independent and bring in their perspective on all matters. All of us educationists came back 
with this lovely feeling of having gained an insight into another world, a world that can be and a world that should be in the best interests of our children. Thank you.